Okay, friends, welcome to part two. This is a big job, but there are some things that's going to make it easier for me. Number one is, I already had a piece of this drywall from my house left over from a job. I always save all my drywall. Don't throw anything away. Nobody can afford to pay for it anyway sometimes. Okay, in this hole here where the intercom system was, there's a bracket, and it had a few nails. And uh, I'm sorry you can't see me, but you just put your hand in here, twist a little bit, bracket comes out. Just a little bracket. Had two nails secured on one side. But the security, see, that's the thing. There is a stud right there. You see it? But we're flush with the drywall. So we're lucky on this side. Because all we have to do is cut a little bit out of here for my piece to fit inside. Now this other side, lo and behold, the stud is way down to here. Now do you think we're gonna cut the hole that big just so we can mount something to the other side? I think not. This is the trick I was talking about. And uh, the reason people charge so much for drywall repairs is because they do have to cut a hole that big. But when you work in apartments, you gotta be fast. But also, you gotta be fast with things that last. And believe me, this trick will make it as just as good as if it was attached to the stud itself. But the hole will only be this size. Sorry about the noise. This is a phone. I'll, I'll be getting better recording equipment and things like that. Right now, I'm just trying to show you all the magic tricks I know that saves you money, money, money. Thanks for tuning in. This is the end of part two. The Tommy, your easy choice painter. Thank you.